September 24th, 2020. I just put that pail on there yesterday. I guess it's this one here. But these are, the rest of them are empty. So I'm gonna collect those today. I've got a bunch of pails in my trailer. So I'll collect these and add them to the mix. Then they'll go right into the, the honey house and get washed up for winter storage. I'm assuming they're empty. I checked a couple others here last, they were empty. Thought I'd tip a couple hives here while I'm here. Get the smoker going. In shorts again, yeah. I don't learn, I guess. Well, it's just comfortable. Most days they don't hurt you too bad. Oh well. My box of goodies. My feed plug so I take the pails off. I can cover the whole. I brought a reducer for that one colony that has a pail. Got a bee on my case already. I hope that's not an indication of how today is going to go. I struggle with zippers. I just do. So, I'm all done up. Gloves and all. Take all these pails off. I think, well, that's a bit overkill. Maybe it is. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to tip them up so I want to be dressed anyway. Populations I can see in the, the feed hole here. I'm going to check into this one because I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven that, uh, that have not finished their pail, have not taken much. I believe this was a third pail for this one. So the fact that it didn't take much is understandable. But the others were thirds as well. I didn't bring a chair. Take this up. Well, I think I know the answer. I think the sugar was a bit too thick. And collected on the screen and they were unable to take it. Because the population is excellent here. I'm not going to open this up. Maybe I'll just change this pail. Story, I wonder. The population. I can see granulated sugar on the screen. Likely. Look. this problem. They dug right in the polystyrene under the under the pale edge.
exhale like that, I can hear air go through the screen. So I would assume that that screen is okay. A lot of times if there's too much sugar in the solution, take the lid off. I can see it right here. I need a, a hooked instrument to go in and clean that screen on the inside. I'll just put this one back on as is. See the syrup running out there. Well, that'll be okay. This one, there's not much in it. There, and I've almost done this one. A little bit of granulation. I've told her, I've told her to do a lot of stuff, but that's one thing that doesn't do very well. get air to come through there and push the syrup through. And the syrup runs through. Just leave that for them. I watched a video by a hobbyist recently. And the whole video was about this. He went and touched his entrance reducer and he got stung. Of course, I guess he wasn't dressed up or anything, but you think, well, I'm just gonna go pull the entrance reducer. I'm gonna put one in. Uh, that's easy. They won't mind. No, no, no. Entrance. The entrance is where the guard bees do their job. And their job is to keep you out. So, you're gonna mess with that. You better, better have some smoke. You better be dressed up. Get a nice liberal amount of smoke. And give those guard bees something to think about besides stinging me and uh, and I'm going to put that wedge in there. You know, I ain't like that banging on the hive like that, but you kind of have to tap those in. And that's the one I put on yesterday, so I know why that's full.
adjust my ratios. And you can see my eye tool through the hole. So. It's hard. You got to get all the sugar you can into them, into the water. It's cool weather. And mixing in large batches, it's hard to use hot water. I'm a little concerned with this one. This is a 2019 Queen. She's a year old. This will be her second winter. And I really see no population here through the feed hole. I'm going to crack that open. Take a gander. Yeah, they're not, uh, they're not going to make it, There's hardly anything left of them. Probably a queen die a little while ago. This was a patty that I put on here nearly a month ago. They've eaten most of it, but there's not much left of this colony. They got beat up on because there's not there's the remnant of well okay here here's our answer right here the queen did die because you've got some bullet brood here show you closer we'll get into the rest of the frames but I'll sort of hold that so you can see it the bullet shaped caps those are drones so those were laid by laying workers. Okay, hard for me to see what you're seeing. Okay, so that was like that together. So that was the brood nest. Uh, there's, there's nothing really to salvage here. There's just a few bees, but they're old. They're gonna be dead in another probably couple weeks. Uh, there's no brood, there's no feed, you know, there's another frame of drones. They tried to requeen, here's some, uh, here's some open queen cells at the bottom. They're pretty old. Nothing in here. The other queen cell. This one didn't emerge. Let's open it up. What's in there? Anything? Nothing. So that is what went on here. The queen died in the honey flow, and they didn't requeen. Which, you know, happens. Because we don't do a lot of management during honey flow. A few, a few lost bees there. They don't know what to do. See, that's it. That's, that's all that's in here. A few drones hanging on. So, yeah, they're they're done ski. I'm going to shake these bees just out in here. If they can join another colony, fine. If they can't, there's, they're going to die here anyway. There's no value to me. There's no value to themselves. You can't even shake them out because they're all old bees. They just all fly. My trusted mentors always say, take your losses in the fall. We'll try and winter crop like this. take away anything that looks like home to them so that they'll find somewhere else to take up if they can. So unload this. There is nothing here. There is not a stitch of feed. It's 
See, there's more, more queen cells. And, mm -hmm. you know, if they tried to, you know, queen cells, I mean, they emerged. A lot of them emerged. Looks like that one might have been torn down, but there's one here. Lots of cups. If she emerged, you know, at the beginning of September, good luck trying to mate, you know. That's just not prime mating season here, this part of the world. So, bang them out and the, throw the frames back in that box. You say, what are the equipment? Well, the equipment's fine. The equipment will just get reused. No big deal. Well, there's 30 in this yard. I had one die early on. When I brought them over here. It was no good. I want to do out here today is I want to heft some of these hives. So again, I can see a decent population here. Might need this, so I want it working well. Smoker, get the Dayton smoker. It's got the nice Dayton logo here. Of course, mine's holding up, so it's kind of not, you can't see it. Uh, you get the short one or the tall one. The tall one just holds more fuel, lets you work longer with, between uh, refuels. However, spend the extra two bucks. The tall one comes in a model that has this finger guard here, and it's an extra piece of metal on behind the, the burning chamber. I've got both. I have another one just like this. It doesn't have that guard. That gets pretty hot. People will say, oh, is that hot? Do you know, smoke the or whatever. But either way, it's, it's pretty hot. This one doesn't get hot. The shorter one, you don't have as much a problem because the top of the smoker is down here. That's 7 inches and 10 inches. I'm stalling because I don't want to get stuck. Okay. Let it be brave. Have this up. This up and see how heavy it is. Okay, it's loose. And another polystyrene problem. I don't have a handle, but it is pretty strong, so I can lift up here. <laughs> That's all I need to know. That's heavy. But my bees have disappeared from here. Well, I'm going to take a look in here too. The lid isn't on properly at all. You know what's wrong with this box? The lid's not on, but if the lid is on properly, this box is uh, crooked. It, it's uh, it's bent. Oh, look at that! It's got honey, it's got bees, it's got everything. So 
Oh yeah, this box is not square. It's angled so the lid doesn't sit on there. It's square. So, so it is. It is what it is. Let's test this one here. So that's a homegrown queen from last year. One of mine. Oh, this has got no insulation, so not only can I see the seam, I can grab my hand. Feel the weight. Yes. Nice, nice weight. Very nice weight. This one spent all summer with an entrance reducer installed. That's a careless beekeeper. Populations are good. It would have been interesting to note that at harvest time. And see if it's hampered production at all. That's nice and heavy. What you want? I need to be confident now that I can pretty much finish feeding, save for the ones that kind of had trouble there, and uh, everybody will be okay. looks a little light through the feed hole. So I'll have a quick look. I suspect they're fine. Yeah, they look good. There's something, you know, that's the last time I'll see the bees until May. Kind of a sad thought, really. I'm ready for a break, but uh, still a sad thought. There's two more I want to look at. Not seeing much through the feed hole. This one has no mark, I don't know. What the, what the stats on the queen are. You sure glue that down tight this time of year. Oh yeah, they're fine. They are fine. Worry wart. Okay, look at this unknown queen. unknown age. They've really propolized that feed hole. Which is fine, I don't mind. It's amazing to see the work they do. And if they want it smaller, they can make it smaller. That's amazing. A close up of that feed hole. Look at how they built that. They built it right up and closed it right down. They just wanted that size of a hole in the top, so that's what they made. I was so a little disappointed that I had to leave so many pails. But I have to leave that one anyway, so it doesn't really change things for me. Seven of them. So these bees are one step closer to winter. As soon as those pails are done, I'm going to pick these up and take them home. 
hopefully we get a little bit of warm weather. I've got an open feed barrel going there at home. Uh, I don't want to do an open feed barrel here. Uh, there are no other beekeepers around this area. I know that. However, this uh, apiary is not fenced yet. <laughs> uh, I've not had bear problem yet. So I don't want to leave open feed just to encourage any wandering bear. I'd rather just take them home. We can open feed there. Open feed's a good way just to kind of finish everything off for the season. You know, pack it all in. As long as they have the warm enough weather to actually take advantage of it. So I've got my bell up. There's a bee here that's bound and determined to get at me. But anyway, there's nothing else here to say, nothing to do, so I'm going to pack up and go back home. And uh, so thanks for watching the videos and uh, have fun.